Hi there! Today we're going to talk about spec instructions. I'll show you how you can set your instructions by default and how you can tag them for relevant spec types as well. So open up a spec window and you'll see that there's an instructions tab here. So design spec will populate um, a couple hundred instructions for you um, in advance and those are all going to show up over here on the right as available instructions. Now we've tagged these so that anything relevant to a banquette in this case or upholstery will show up over here. But then what you need to do as a team is decide which of these are important enough and relevant enough that you want them to show up by default every time you make a banquette spec. Once they've been marked off by default, they'll show up under required instructions, which is this list over here. So until you've ticked off the instruction as required, this will be blank. So um, let me show you how we can do that. Go to Customize, and we'll be brought to a new tab over here. So now you can see um, we're in the configuration workspace where the tabs are pink. And here is a, a list of all the instructions Design Spec populates for you. So like I mentioned, we've tagged these in advance. This instruction, for example, which has to do with COM, has been tagged as relevant for banquettes, chairs, fabric, etc. You can see there's a square and a check, though, next to chair. That means that um, the firm has decided that this instruction is important enough to be included by default every time a chair spec is made. If you'd like this to include um, by default every time you make a fabric spec, you can also click that. If you don't select the tick mark, it means um, this instruction will be tagged as fabric and it will show up over here under available instructions, but until you add the tick mark, it won't show up in required. You can add tags to this instruction as well from this list over here. So you can click on it and it will be added over here, or you can remove it. You can also make changes to the instruction itself. Um, the text here is not set in stone or locked, so if you'd like to make um, any changes, you can do that up here. You can also delete the spec type completely. So here's another example. This instruction has been tagged with these spec types, but it's been marked as required for plastic laminate. If you go to the top, you'll see that there's a few instructions with a large tick next to it. That means that these instructions here have been deemed either generic enough or important enough by the design firm that they'll show up on every single spec, see all spec types, and you can indicate that by clicking on this um, button right here. So all of these up at the top with the big check mark will show up on every single spec type. Feel free to use the filter drop down if you'd like to look at all the instructions that have been tagged with Banquet, for example. Anything with a tag will show up with, with the orange, but this is not marked as required. If it's been marked as required, you'll see the, the gray box and the tick mark. So now let's go back to the banquet, and you'll see anything that has been ticked off as required shows up here on the left, um, and that will happen every time you make a banquet spec. If there's a few additional instructions you'd like to add, you can select those from the available instructions list here, and they're going to populate down there just for BQ01 in this case. You can also remove them. Um, feel free to use the search bar. Perhaps there's something specific you're looking for. And now it gets added in here. So let's take a look at where those instructions show up on the report. We'll do a full page spec and we'll filter just by that banquet we were looking at. So you see at the bottom here, this is the list of your instructions. Um, they show up in alphabetical order, and um, anything that has been marked as either required or added as an additional instruction will show up here. Okay, thank you for your time.